Tonight, residents are dealing with a second apartment fire in Red Bank in less than four days. Good evening, I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rose. Six families are displaced after a fire at the Ravenscroft apartment complex. Red Cross is helping out, but resources are running low. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman joins us with why Red Cross is feeling the strain. Micaiah. Josh, Latricia, these American Red Cross disaster relief vehicles may be parked right now, but for the last two weeks, they've been very busy responding to fires and flooding all over southeast Tennessee. Now, after an apartment fire last night broke out in Red Bank, a spokesperson tells me that they're asking for your help. Shattered windows and charred door frames. This is what remains of one apartment building at the Ravens Cross complex. People just running around everywhere down here. Flames broke out in apartment nine of this building. The other units suffered from smoke and water damage. By the time I got there, it was hot enough that the uh, blinds, the plastic blinds, were melting and flop, you know, flopping onto the glass. Got on the scene, uh, found most fire in the kitchen, and uh, crews went in, knocked it down, did search. Search of the building. Red Bank and Dallas Bay's fire department responded. The American Red Cross was called in to assist six displaced families. If you're living in an apartment, you got to remember, you know, the, the actions of your neighbors can affect everybody else in the building. So, you know, naturally, if there's a fire, it's going to affect more than just one family. While the Red Cross was able to offer assistance, an official says resources are running low. This is our second apartment fire in Red Bank in the past four days. Um, apartment fire fires, as you can imagine, are very complex. Greg Wade is the CEO for Southeast Tennessee's American Red Cross. He tells us they average one disaster a day. So the past five months especially, we've seen it abnormally busy. Um, we've seen a spike. With an uptick in disasters, the organization is in need of volunteers and donations. We're mandated to do what we do, but we don't receive government funding. We rely on what the community gives us. For information on how you can donate to the American Red Cross, go online to newschannel9.com. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Micaiah Thurman, News Channel 9.